Hey guys, by now you know the OCR decreased today from 5.25 to 4.75, a nice chunky half a percent decrease in the OCR. We uh, signaled that uh, over the previous few weeks. I think pretty much the market had started to price that in. Uh, it's a good move, but look, it's off the back of a very weak domestic economy. Um, we know domestically there's a lot of industry that's struggling, unemployment rates going up, We've got a very weak hospitality sector, very weak retail sector. We've got some weakness in agriculture, particularly things like forestry, where it's uneconomic at the moment to chop down trees. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, and, and probably the big one, the construction sector, which uh, is a bit of a bloodbath uh, in, in patches. Uh, and it's not going to get any better anytime soon. As far as uh, rate forecasts are concerned, I think the market will price in another half a percent decrease uh, on November the 26th, which will take the OCR down to 4.25. Look, at 4.25, we're still tightening uh, because a neutral OCR is around 3%. So what I expect to see from the Reserve Bank next year is a fairly rapid reduction in the OCR. The, the next OCR announcement after November isn't until February, so it'll be sort of middle of next year, I think, to late next year that we'll get back to neutral. Currently, the Reserve Bank was forecasting the middle of 2026. Off the back of this OCR announcement, they didn't do a re-forecast. We'll see that in November, but I, I'd very much expect to see the Reserve Bank bringing forward uh, how quickly it's going to get to neutral. The interesting thing with this is what it does to mortgage rates. So I would expect to see mortgage rates getting down to around five and a half for a one year fixed inside the next week. We're starting to see banks pricing like that below the counter. Um, even more interesting will be the long end of the curve. So we may see three year fixed rates approaching 5% and I think by Christmas or early in the new year, we may have a three year fixed mortgage rate at 495. And I think at 495, that's really good value for money. Um, you've gotta be careful when you're thinking about interest rates that you don't sort of hook yourself into this belief that we're gonna see mortgage rates getting back down to 2%. Um, that was a very unusual time and I wouldn't expect to see us get down there in a normal economic cycle. So, um, you know, anything with a four in front of it, from my perspective, uh, is, 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 is pretty good pricing. So the dynamics of that housing market over the next eight weeks will start to shift. Everyone has been jumping into floating rates and six month fixed rates, and appropriately so, because of the rapid reduction we're seeing in rates at the moment. But as those lower rates further out the curve start to materialize, I think you'll start to see borrowers going out there um, because rates below 5% are good value for money. Um, as far as the housing market's concerned, it's still pretty weak out there, uh, and that's not gonna change anytime soon. You know, um, This is a big economic turnaround. Dropping the OCR helps, but it doesn't solve it. And uh, we're in for a bit of a journey. Um, people need to rebuild their balance sheets. They've used up their savings, they've borrowed money, we're going to be paying off debt, rebuilding savings, getting our confidence, getting our mojo back. That's not going to happen tomorrow. So um, I think the saying thrive in 25 actually should be survive 2025. I think we're through the worst of it in terms of some of those nasty headlines and certainly dropping OCR is going to help. But the, we're still dealing with... Um, the outcomes of that and we are for a while yet you know the unemployment rate's still going up business is still really struggling and people aren't going to be out there spending buying cars and fridges tomorrow simply because the OCR dropped um, this is a bit of a journey we're through the worst of it we've still probably got another year to go